Well, I want to do another uh, Cigarello uh, review. Um, the Al Capones um, you know, brought on a lot of attention, a lot of questions. You know, people enjoy it. They want me to do more, you know, cheap little cigar reviews or Cigarellos. And uh, I figured it was a good time to do it because this is the time that I would usually smoke one. Um, right now, I'm waiting for my wife. Uh, she's in the store, and uh, I got some time here. So I figured I would uh, turn the camera on and, and do a quick little review for you guys. Um, the first time I did a review on the Al Capone um, unfiltered uh, cognac dip ones. And now I'm doing the Jamaican Blaze, which is a filtered. Well, this one happens to come filtered. Uh, but you can also, I believe, get these unfiltered. But these are the rum flavored, okay? Now, the first time I showed you that 10-pack, if you're going to get into smoking these often, it makes sense to get the 10-packs just because it's cheaper to buy in bulk. But, um... If you've never had these before, it's nice that they do offer the little two-packs. These two-packs are roughly like $2.50, a little bit cheaper some places, so it works out to be like a buck twenty-five uh, a cigar. Um, so here's how it comes. You can see it's wrapped up. There's a little uh, tab on the side. This one happens to be right here. Okay, so you see a little pull tab, like a pack of gum or something. Pulls the cellophane off. And then you have yourself a black box. Open up the box. And you have your two cigars. All right, so I'll pull one out. Take a look at it here real quick. So same as the, uh, the other sticks. The only difference here is that these have a filter, okay? The filter is standard size, just like it would be on a cigarette. So one thing some people may ask is with the filter ones, do you get less smoke or less burn time because of the, the space that the filter takes up? And I would say no. Um, if you have an unfiltered one, you're going to want to put this out at about an inch or an inch and a quarter anyway, because at that point it's going to get too hot um, and or it's just too too small to hold. So I don't think the filter hinders the, uh, the smoke time on these. You're going to get about the same whether it's filtered or not. So anyway, I got the uh, 1935. Zippo replica here. So we'll be using that today to uh, to light this up. We'll talk about this a little bit here. So let's see. Initial impressions are good. This also has a uh, sweetened tip, just like the rest of them. So I have a, uh, a very sweet flavor on the lips. Um, the draw is actually pretty good on this. I've, uh, you know, what I remember from the old ones, the filtered cognacs, was that it had a tighter draw. And honestly, with this one, specifically, it's not that bad at all. It's it's slightly tighter than the non-filter ones, but it's not like a really, really hard draw or anything, so. I don't know if it's that, that big of a downside. Um, the flavor is good though. It's sweet. It's supposed to be uh, a rum flavored. It's rum dipped. Uh, like I mentioned in the first review, I can't distinguish between the rum flavor as opposed to the cognac flavor, but I can tell that there's something different here, and there is a slightly different flavor. It doesn't scream rum to me, but it does have a slightly different flavor than the cognac ones. So if you've tried the cognac ones, I would recommend getting these and vice versa. If you've had the uh, Jamaican Blaze, you might want to try the cognac because they have a slightly different flavor profile. But overall, the tobacco flavor is the same. The burn is very crisp. It's the perfect consistency. It's not too dry, it's not too moist. Um, the smoke isn't too hot. Sometimes, especially with the uh, cheaper cigarellos and stuff you get to get in the stores, depending on where you're getting it, whatever smoke shop uh, you're at, um, sometimes they're old. They might be like uh, you know, a really old batch and they could be dried out. If they're dried out, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a, uh, a hot smoke from that because it's gonna burn faster and it'll probably be a little bit unpleasant tasting. But these are fresh, you know? Uh, ironically, I'm doing this video in front of a smoke shop. <laughs> Not where I got these, but there's a smoke shop here. But 
flavor's pretty good. I like these. Um, the big question, you know, do I like these more or less than the cognac? I think... I'm gonna go with the cognac. I just, I happen to like those a little bit more. Um, the pros and cons of getting a filtered over a non-filtered. Well, if you got the filtered ones, the obvious pro is that you're going to, literally, the filter's gonna do its job and it's gonna filter out some of those uh, tars and stuff that are gonna be bad for you, obviously, you don't want in your mouth. So that's a, a major plus in having the filtered uh, version is that it's gonna, uh, you know, hold back some of the tar and stuff. Um, the only negative to these at all, uh, the filtered over the non-filtered, is that the draw is a little bit tighter. Some are a little bit tighter than others. I don't know why, but this one's smoking great. Uh, no problems at all with it being filtered. I don't, I don't find this to be uh, you know too tight of a draw or anything. Um, so yeah, I mean the filter is totally going to be preference. Now, <laughs> this might this might seem obvious, but obviously if you're getting a filtered one, make sure you light. The opposite end. I know that sounds stupid, but um, if you're hanging with your buddies and you're drinking. You know, it, I, I've seen it many times before where, where someone lit a cigarello or a cigarette uh, on the wrong end, and that would be uh, detrimental to your health, to say the least. So make sure you don't like the filtered end. Uh, I do prefer the unfiltered, just for the simple fact that it's such a light draw. Um, but the other benefit you have from the filtered version here is that you're you're not going to get little bits of tobacco in your mouth if you're. Uh, you know, if you're kind of, I wouldn't say chewing on it, but if you're aggressively holding in your lips, sometimes pinching the end, you get those little bits of tobacco that fall out into your lips, and that could be annoying. So the filtered versions, um, you know, don't have that, obviously. But they're very smooth. The flavor's great. They're nice and sweet. Of course, you know, once you lick your lips afterwards, you taste that, that sugar solution. You know, but overall, they're they're pretty damn good. Uh, these little two packs, it's a nice thing because you know you get one to try, and you can revisit it. You have a second one to try later, and your you know if your opinion stays the same between the two of them, you have a consistent opinion on this little cigarello. But I think the uh, the benefit of having something like this is that if you don't have the time for a full size cigar or even a smaller cigar, that's where these shine. I mean, like I said, right now, I'm waiting for my wife in the store, hanging out here, not doing anything, and uh, you know, I'm not gonna light up a big, uh, big fat stick right now. I just don't have the time, I don't, you know, I know where to put it. You smoke these down to, in this case, the filter, get rid of it um, without littering. Please don't litter. And, because uh, remember, I mean, you know, you shouldn't really throw a cigar butt or a cigarette butt on the ground anyway, but even though the filters, some of the new filters are made to break down, just don't do it. You don't want animals coming in and picking them up and eating them and stuff. Anyway, um, yeah, I like these. I just think I prefer the flavor of the cognac dip ones slightly over these. Um, it's not a big difference. I would certainly grab these if uh, that's all that the store had. Um, but they're very, very similar in the overall construction and everything like that. They're just really fine little cigarellos they're very affordable but they do last a little bit longer having that natural wrapper um, aids in having a slower burn okay so these do burn a little bit longer than you know a standard uh, cigarette of the same size so it's just it's nice but it's still a short smoke so I am certainly a fan of these so that's all just want to do a quick review on these they're worth checking out if there's uh, more interest, I will try uh, some of the other products in the future. Um, there's, the, of course, the filtered cognacs. I, I kind of want to see, because I don't think I've ever had those before, I want to see the difference if there's any flavor change between the non-filtered and the filtered. Um, and besides that, it's not very popular, but they also have a natural leaf one that has a green uh, tobacco leaf on the outside as well. But those are a little bit hard to find in the stores. So I'm about a quarter inch past where the filter is. But at this point, you know, I've enjoyed it and I'm done. So I'm going to put it out now and uh, call it a day. So that's all. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. All comments are, are welcome down below. If you've tried these or if you've tried other varieties, let me know. 
Um, I do have some more of these little Cigarellos, uh, you know, reviews on the way. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Take care.